it's another scorcher of a day in the nation's oldest city. During warmer months, temperatures in St. Augustine, like the rest of Florida, can climb well north of 90 degrees. In the summer, visitors from all over the world flock to St. Augustine to experience the city's rich history. Even on the hottest days, these time-worn streets can be packed with sightseers. While the intense heat might slow you down a little, it doesn't have to ruin your vacation. There are plenty of good things to do here in St. Augustine when the mercury rises. From activities on the water to indoor places where you can soak up the cool AC, and of course, everyone's favorite, some tasty frozen treats. Today's episode is all about sharing with you some tips, some great ways you can beat the heat in St. Augustine. All of that and so much more straight ahead from the First Coast. With a gorgeous bayfront, intracoastal, and beach, there are a lot of ways for you to enjoy playing on the water. And isn't that where most people really want to be when it's hot in Florida? One of the most convenient options for beating the heat might be as close as the place you've chosen to lodge during your stay. Many hotels and Airbnbs have access to pools, but not all. Historic properties sometimes don't. Be sure to double check before booking if having a pool is important to you. Like most waterfront towns in Florida, there are a number of options to enjoy the water via boat. Everything from eco tours and sunset cruises to tiki tours and a fun pub boat that riders pedal themselves. We have links to resources on our website to some of the town's best boat tours, all great ways to spend time on the area's stunning waterways. The St. Augustine area is home to more than 40 miles of gorgeous beaches. Volano Beach is the nearest beach to the northern end of historic downtown, minutes from the Old Gel and Fountain of Youth. This community has a retro Art Deco vibe with a long fishing pier on the riverside of the island. Be sure to snap some pics with the Blue Bird of Happiness while you're here. Butler and Crescent Beaches on the southern end are more laid back, while St. Augustine Beach in the middle has a number of lodging options, good places to grab a bite, a number of surf shops, and a beachfront park with a fishing pier and splash pad. The miles of white sandy beaches have made St. Augustine a go-to destination for water lovers and beachgoers, with dozens of beach access points peppered along the coastline. With St. Augustine dating back hundreds of years, the architecture here is something you take in every time you turn a corner. Churches and other places of worship are some of the most awe-inspiring buildings in town and can be well appreciated from the outside. If you want to lower your body temperature a few degrees while educating yourself about these marvelous structures, step inside. Most of these places of worship are open to the public for self-guided tours during the day if a service isn't taking place. Mixed in with the shops and restaurants of St. George Street, you'll find the Greek Orthodox National Shrine. The chapel contains elaborate Byzantine-style frescoes unique in the Western Hemisphere.
one of the coolest tours you can take in St. Augustine happens in the impressive building you see behind me. Constructed as the Ponce de Leon Hotel in the 1880s by the father of modern Florida, Henry Flagler, this tour is a must when you're here. The sprawling building is considered one of the finest examples of Spanish Renaissance architecture and was one of the most exclusive resorts of its day. It's highly recommended to purchase tickets before arrival. We have more information about the tour on our website. I'm standing outside another of Henry Flagler's hotels, the Hotel Alcazar. Back then, it was known for its large indoor swimming pool, which you can still see today free of charge. A portion of this iconic building now houses the Leitner Museum. Occupying three floors are antiques from America's Gilded Age at the end of the 19th century. Current admission prices are on your screen. Visit our website for more information and a link to where you can purchase tickets. When it comes to indoor attractions, you won't find a shortage in St. Augustine. And the great thing is they all love to pump icy AC through the vents when it's hot outside to make sure you have a good experience. In the downtown area, you can do everything from taking tours of historic homes to exploring oddities, medieval torture devices, and what it was like to be a pirate centuries ago. If you have been to St. Augustine before and never experienced the city's indoor attractions, a toasty day on the outside can be a good motivator. St. Augustine is the patron saint of many things, including the art of brewing. You'll find makers of craft beer, wine, and spirits here in the Old City, and fortunately most offer tours of their facilities along with free samples of their own grog. Facilities like the St. Augustine Distillery and the San Sebastian Winery are friendly places where you could easily spend a couple of hours. You might not want to leave the comforts of the cool air inside after having a couple of drinks. If you enjoy good shopping like I do, the storefronts along St. George Street offer a mix of local and chain stores where you can get out of the sun. We love Stubby's, a small batch honey and apothecary store that offers a great selection of raw honey, honey food products, and skincare. And Stubby's recently opened Hive and Homestead, which offers a fantastic selection of home decor. One of my absolute favorite shops is the Red Pineapple. They offer a great selection of decorative signs and clothing. Nothing tastes better on a hot day than a cool treat. And when it comes to treats, St. Augustine has you covered. Peace Pie offers gourmet ice cream sandwiches with a layer of pie filling in each one. Hippo Gourmet Popsicles got their start here in St. Augustine. Their flash frozen popsicles made with fresh fruit are always refreshing. And they also offer a number of boozy options. Mayday is an artisan ice cream shop with unique flavors like pistachio moon, coffee and donuts, bourbon pecan, along with different seasonal options available throughout the year. 
If you're a fan of Disney's famous Dole Whip, look for this stand on St. George Street. Lick It has frozen treats that are better than what you'll find at the Mouse House. Anastasia State Park checks off a lot of the items on this list all by itself. It's got a beach and several ways to play on the water. It's a beautiful coastal state park, so you'll definitely benefit from the sea breezes. At the southern tip of Anastasia Island is Fort Matanzas National Monument. This coastal stone fort was built by the Spanish in the 18th century and is only accessible by passenger ferry operated by the National Park Service. Boarding passes are limited and available on a first-come, first-served basis. Be sure to arrive early in the day if you want to explore the fort. The 300 acres of Fort Matanzas National Monument is a mosaic of natural habitats, including beaches perfect for a relaxing, hot Florida day. That's it. Our suggestions on ways to beat the heat in St. Augustine. What would you add to the list? Leave us a comment to get the conversation started. Stay updated with our latest content by subscribing to the channel. It's free and activate the notification bell so you know when new tips and guides are released. More information about the content on this channel, including maps and helpful links available at our website. As always, thank you for watching. From St. Augustine, see you next time.